change things what's up everybody happy uh whatever today is uh 420 boom yeah we need to turn that off time to bring in some guests i'm new at this it's my first day uh guest is in green room boom watch this boom there's a guest hello all to How are you? Are Oh my gosh, it's rocks it. now. Now everyone, hey, thank you. Now everyone knows what Balthazar <laughs> looks like. I don't know if yeah, I some guess the what you mirrors would look like. like. The mirror is like uh, a mirrored image going on here, so I look a little funny to myself even. So it's the reverse image of me. You're the opposite version of you. Oh no, that's a shame. Uh, Dark okay, so There's Balthazar. Let's see if I can grab the next one. Uh Oh shit! Here we go. Uh, boom, Peeb. Wait, hello, hello. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Balthazar is not what I imagined. Yeah, me either. <laughs> I, don't what, I don't know what I was expecting though. I mean, it's just. I, I don't mean, but... it's like you know when you read a book and then you see the movie and you can't think of what you imagined at the time you read the book. That's what I feel like now. <laughs> All right, let's hmm. grab another. I got another guest in the green room. Boom, look at this guy. Jay. What's going on, guys? What's up, What's going on? Jay? What's up? Oh, my God. There's another guest. Boom. This software is going to explode. We have Nettie, <laughs> Nettie Pot in the house. Now, I promise I'm not egotistical and trying to make myself a bit larger than all you. I just can't figure out how to shrink my own window. <laughs> I'll get there. I'll get there. We're doing it live. He just thinks he's better than us. <laughs> and then lastly, uh, boom, Fibonacci. Hello. And there he is. Can you hear me? Yeah. Hello. Yeah, Hello. I can hear yeah. you. Yeah. So I wonder you if I can. Some, yeah, there's like a oh, mute thing, thing like, like hanging out of my screen, like some weird. Mm -hmm. Someone's got like a like a room tone. I feel like it might be Peeb. 
Mm. Like a, I've got a heater on. It's free. A heater. He's got a heater, heater on. The heater on. Man, it is so hot where I live. <laughs> oh no, man, it's freezing here. I live in the island, man. It's cold. <laughs> oh my god! And then there's one more. Oh yeah, we got the skeleton. Flexing the skeleton himself. I promise I'm gonna make myself smaller here, but I'm, well, I'm just trying to figure this all. It's your birthday, man. Have a moment. <laughs> yeah, sweet, I just had... sweet sixteen moment. Nobody can be larger than Ian today. Just so everyone, <laughs> just so everyone knows, I uh, just went out to have slam two beers with my wife and uh, lunch. So I'm feeling good. Feeling good. Uh, how's everyone doing? How do I get music on here though? That would help the vibe, you know. So it's not like just Peeb's room tone, his heater running in our. Uh, I'll figure that out. Let's, I've turned off now, so still, uh, we oh, still found it. Maybe. Mo, can you hear us? Are you on? Oh boy, where's Mo? Mosef. Is, is this being streamed oh, on, on Twitch or something? Is that what we're streaming? We are on Twitch, we're on YouTube, we're on Twitter. It's live everywhere, and I'm not yeah, even we're prepared on TikTok. at all. <laughs> we're on tr Truth Social. <laughs> yo, yo, what's up, gentlemen? There he is. What's up? Hey, what's up, Mo? God, this looks horrible. This this grid of, of degens needs to be made. All right, man, 420 is one of them days. Happy birthday, by the way, boss man. Thank you. Thank you. Isn't that exciting? Yeah. To have a birthday like mine is uh, so lucky. I never even partook in such a weird behavior, though, and all my friends would make fun of me. They're all having a good time. And I'm... But hey, in older age, I have five That's a right. good time. Okay, so here we go. I'm trying to put it in. Uh, so let's do some intros. Fib, can you, while I try and get everyone's faces on, why don't you uh, uh, talk around? I'll try and get some music and stuff too. And we'll, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, let's, go, let's go through. We got So we got a stacked guest list today. We got a few regulars, you know, myself, Mo, Ian, but we got uh, four special guests today. Let's start oh with God. who I see. I think we, I guess we all see the same sort of grid, but let's start with Balthazar, uh, bottom left to Ian. How about you give a little intro i'm sure a lot of people tuning in know who you are but maybe you want to say hello sure yeah and don't mind my video it's mirrored for some reason this is actually dark ball bizarre it's the opposite of what i usually look like. <laughs> all right yeah so just be be the opposite of who you are and you know tell everybody who you aren't <laughs> uh, that might take too much thinking and i'm about to pick up a, a bourbon over there so it might not okay. happen um, all right, yeah. So this this is me. You can just call me Chris. That's my first name, um, or Balthazar, whatever whatever works. Mm -hmm. um, you probably see me hanging out in different races. I've mostly focused on left dirt firm and a little bit of left dirt soft um, up here in Massachusetts. But I remain a Atlanta sports fan, and I grew up partially in Hawaii, hence all the Aloha shirts. And I also mm -hmm. brought along a hat from my favorite PFP. I used to wear this for a while. Oh uh, no! Oh, amazing. Hat. That's yeah, awesome. fantastic. Did you buy yeah, that well, after man, buying no. the PFP or no? Like, did you already own it? I bought that after after buying the PFP. Yeah, respectable, <laughs> respectable man. I purchased yeah, a few amazing. things to try to imitate my PFP as well, but I couldn't I couldn't quite approximate it. But anyhow, did you really? Uh, oh wow. Yeah, I mean, I I bought like aviators and uh, and some stupid Hawaiian shirts to try to mm, get close, nice. but it, it didn't really, yeah, it didn't really work out. Anyway. So, Balthazar, nice to have you on, man. You've been a community pillar for a long time. We're really glad to have you. You're an awesome guy. Uh, but now we're going to go to Peeb, who may or may not be dark Peeb. No one can tell because both sides of mm. Peeb are dark. So go ahead, Peeb. How's it going? What's going on today? That's an intro, isn't it? Um, hi, everyone. I'm Peeb, uh, co-owner, manager of YSM Racing Club. Um, we're predominantly competing in the LDS, the left dirt soft archetype um yeah we've uh, we've come up against balfasar a few times recently in the uh, in the yielding and in some of the derbies getting sick of losing to him mum. <laughs> really well, having a hard time with him. Having a hard time with him. i can't compete with his role he must have had an unbelievable role i'll tell you that for nothing mm. he did grease well, the wheels mm. we we take the highest bidder <laughs> on all yeah. of uh, you know just so everyone knows <laughs> No, yeah, no, so we have not. weighted dice. Uh, we can the, control it. But no, this Based is the first time I've, met, I've met, <laughs> This is the first time I've met yeah, just anyone. To, just to, the first race is starting in 30 seconds. Oh, 30 shit, seconds? Okay. Uh-oh, tune oh, in. Mo, Mo, can you get in the Mo. box, Mo? I'm trying to get everyone yeah, that full, that full maiden starts in like 10 seconds. I'm Am I even on the right here? website? Let's, let's get this beautiful skeleton in the box. 
races. I'm going to. I'm in this the is box. The maiden. Here we go. What's in the box? I'll go theater. Okay. I think I did it. Yeah, I didn't want to like interrupt your intro or anything, but. No. Yeah. Fine. Fine. All the track. right. There he is. What is up, degenerates? We are here on a Thursday afternoon, third time stream. Don't forget to hit the like button, follow the channel. Tip your waitresses. It's post time, and tip your waitresses. And they're off here in the third time Thursday maiden. It's Bravissima from the inside, along with Frosty Cat on the outside. And in third, there comes Sir Tuck with good early speed, as is Fidelio. And it's odd enough that one almost even money there, 1.32, and Prom Queen is going to round out your top six here. Still cannot call the rest of the horses here, trying to work on that, but not today. Opening quarter in 25 and change, and it's Fidelio now who challenges Frosty Cat here to take the lead. And now dropping back on the rail, that's Bravissima and Skystar now starting to progress. But oddly enough, maybe even oddly enough, if I could read straight here on a beautiful 420, as now it's starting to move up here in the fourth, make it third, as they get ready now to head on to the back stretch in this nine furlong affair. Open in half is coming on, 49 and change, and it's Fidelio still the one to catch. Leaves the way here by half a length, but oh, never mind, right on cue. Bravissima down at the rail. Camera angle sometimes even gets the better of me. Stone Cold announcer. But it's Bravissima now who kicks clear by two. Instantly challenged once again by Fidelio and Frosty Cat, not to be forgotten about. As Fidelio splits him and goes right back and now opens up by a length. Frosty Cat's hanging in tough, oddly enough, and Ivory down at the rail. Now it's Trentina looking for a bold run here from the back. But as we make our way around the far turn, three quarters and 115. And you know what that means? It's time for the money shot. Off the turn, they head for home. And I'm hearing music, not quite sure what club I walked into, but it's Ivory into the final 200, down the center of the track. Ivory! Oddly enough, looking for room, but it's Ivory. Ivory by half length on the outside, oddly enough on the inside, but not going to catch him as Ivory, beautiful. What? As Ivory, he's going to take it over oddly enough and bravissima. What happened to uh, that horse? Fidelio uh, dropped off a cliff, man. No longer right, the right. path was Fidelio your horse fib, or did you have a link in to that? Of course one? not. No, I don't. It, well, I might have. You know, I might have a few links to that in, way, in the, ways. we What is discuss. up with this horse? I've never seen this crazy colored one. Patterning, yeah. Look at the seam down the middle. We need to fix that. That's kind of clear. All right, hey, what are you gonna do? Uh, all right, nice one, Mo. Good call. Let me uh, yeah, another bring down fantastic here. call. I found a, a single mu music file on my computer and I hit play, so I'm not very prepared. But all right, go ahead, Fib. Who else is on our panel today? Yeah, Who's well, we it, it seems like we got a few newcomers this time. Uh, let's start directly under me. Is that Nettie? Nettie, you want to say hi? Say hi to your to your fans, to your to your people, to our people. Give us a little intro, man. What what brought you around? What what inspired you to be on our on our little third time Thursdays thing here today? What's going on? Uh, I mean, I, I was active, um, sort of in the content creation in a different project, so it was easy to just come on here and pop on here, and I was in PFL probably before a lot of the people started kind of migrating over here. Um, I was in PFL probably, I want to say during the summer, and I kind of like, I think I got a couple, flipped them, got out, and then I just recently came back over probably like a week ago, um, since seeing that you guys are going live soon, I thought I would hop back in. It, it, it's been fun since I've gotten back in. I've actually enjoyed kind of like trying to catch up with everyone else. And everyone else's staples are so far ahead, so now I'm like so far behind. But I feel like you know, I, I sniped a, a nice little uh, A minus horse the other day, so I think I'll be all right. Oh yeah, get a little Funny bit to see, get a little uh, up onto the ladder, a little higher. Just so you know, Rolo here in the chat saying, I can't believe I was watching Nettie trash PFL. Just a week ago in Zed Discord, and now he's on TT Stream. What a what a face turn! What is your response to that? <laughs> uh, I, I just like I just like the troll. Honestly, like I was kind of just blowing this game up because I, every, well, there were people coming in the, the Zed Discord and kept, they kept talking about you know photo finish and you know I was just like trolling them the whole time. I was like, you know what? Like I'll I'll give this another. I mean, all these people are coming in here. I'll give it another chance. And then I looked at it and I was like, 
you know what, what the hell, I'll try this again. And then I got one horse, and I was like, all right, this isn't that bad. So I got two horses, and I was like, okay, I'll sell this horse and buy this horse now. So I've just been, like, kind of swapping on back and forth. But it's good because you can play both games. Like, they're so different that, yeah. like, they exactly. really shouldn't be a rivalry really at all. They're differently like, paced. They look different, yeah, for sure. Yeah, like, you can, I could just plug my horses into preferred preference races over here, come back and check the next day, and then over there I just got to grind the whole time. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So your former Zep player. All right. So then, who else we got there, Fib? Uh, Looks trying. like we got yeah. Jay Money, bottom left, last but not least, man. You want to uh, you want to introduce yourself, man? I, I've been seeing you coming through, making a lot of purchases. I've been transferring your tickets in rapid fire recently myself. So you know, <laughs> I've, you've been you've been making some good ones though. So let's uh, let's hear it, man. What's your deal? What's your story? What's in your heart? Oh. Okay, I just made that dark mode, so that's much better. Um, yeah, my story is uh, I come from the gambling scene. I was um, so I graduated the University of Florida a couple of years ago. Um, ever nice. since I was at UF, I I'm a, I've been a big sports fan my whole life. Not really into horse racing though. Um, started betting a ton. I was really good at it. Decided that I was going to make a career out of it. Um, started working at DraftKings, a couple other smaller books. Um, and then I got really into NFTs and crypto, um, specifically the ones with use cases. And I thought this was so cool. Um, the idea of like virtual horse racing. Um, I never played horse racing manager. I didn't really know anything about um, third time, but I'm so impressed with how they were able to take a game that was already created in like the Web2 world and remodel it for NFTs. Um, and then just a side note, something that makes me super bullish about this game and the community that plays this game is that I feel like there are so many hoarders, uh, which is so interesting to me. Like I'm, I'm trying to build my stable and get all of these like breeding pairs so that I can do some fun things internally. But all of these people have such great stables already and they don't want to part with any of their horses. So uh, it makes it interesting and it also makes yes. me bullish because I I think it I think it replicates the real life horse racing scene a lot as well. So I like that. Yeah, one. now that's that's a blessing and a curse that we fight where whereas we would <laughs> right. like to increase, you know, the amount of holders and exposure, but people are holding on to their assets for dear life. And they're they're you know, surprisingly this actually is a really interesting lead up. How much time do we have between races here? Uh, we've got two and a half on this one, but of course two, today's two and today's and uh, you know, uh, hope of today is to talk about the wagering. So we do need to handicap a little bit. But yeah, go ahead, Phil. Okay, well, one one thing quickly, because uh, Peeb is on here. I'm not sure if Balthazar is in contention for this, but, you know, we have a lot of, not only are there a lot of, like, sort of, you know, d- diamond hand hoarders, but there's also dormant wallets that have these amazing tickets in them. And one of those woke up recently, and we have basically, you know, one of the top horses in the game that just became available for auction. That's going to be happening on Sunday. We're going to live auction that. It's going to be sort of like a hybrid thing where bids are going to come in on probably Magic Eden, and we're going to be yelling about it on Twitter spaces uh, amongst each other, calling out the bids. But yeah, this is a this is one of the top horses in the game that just basically re-entered the market. And I wonder if there's going to be any more of that before the game goes live, or maybe after the game goes live, and just wait people waking up with their amazing horses. Like, what do you think about that, Peeb? I know that you're you pacing that down. You're on the secondary market all the time. Uh, there are a lot of uh, of desirable dormant pieces. Um, the the one owner that springs to mind is Louis. You might remember Louis. Um, I think he's actually changed his Discord name now. So he owned two of the one one studs. He owned Ziggy. He owned Scuba. Um, back when the the PFP breeding was going on, and he has a monster stable. He's got a lo- he's got one of the S plus horses. The one one of the ones which is five match, which hasn't ever seen the light of day yet. Um, he's got no. a number of S horses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so when he enters the uh, the arena, yeah, that's gonna be fun. Yeah, I mean, we have we have new capital coming in, but how like do you, does this make you feel as somebody that's looking to you know reach into the top, you know, the get into the zenith of this game? Do you feel <laughs> like you have enough capital, or you have a strategic buying plan for these horses that are kind of gonna maybe come onto the market, maybe not? Uh, is this like an intimidating time, a, an anxious time, a fun time? Like, how, what do you think about that? Uh, no, nah, not anxious. No, um, I mean, if if the right piece comes up for us, we'll find we'll we'll turn sofas upside down, and we'll find like luckily we're we're um, a group, so we can we can kind of raise money if we need it. Um, it's not just me 
threatening divorce with my wife to uh, remortgage the house right. to go and pay right. for an S-horse. <laughs> 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 Whatever it takes, man. That's just no, I believe that it that has yeah. unfortunately already happened in the community, and I don't want to talk about it. But yes, no, we don't have to yes. talk about it. <laughs> yeah. near, well, near the yeah. horses. TM. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, one second. Here we are. Uh, Mo, down to the track with you. Uh, <laughs> All right. Here we go. Horses are at the gate. It's post time. They're online. And they're off. And I don't think I got my effects on. There we go. Off and running here in the third time. Thursday handicap. And it's Money Love who breaks out to the lead. And it's Kashgar followed by Famous Foundation and Rolling Thunder as these three roll side by side. And comes Harry Waffles now jockeying for position as they make their way into the opening turn here in this 12 furlong right turning affair on the dirt and you can definitely tell it's 420 holy crap it's foggy out here famous foundation though the one two catch and you're early going and it's rolling thunder now wasting no time and challenging on the outside to go right on by and it's Moni love now relegated down on the rail to just hold their time here in third Harry Waffles also in a rush with Bit Blaze trying to push at 7 to 1. And Kashgar is in 6 here with about 8 to make up, but looking to put some acceleration here as they pass the wire for the first time. And it's Harry Waffles. Ugh. Harry Waffles now opens up by 2. Can't even get that thought out of my mind. Harry Waffles over Famous Foundation by 2. And it's Kashgar on the outside, passed by, by Rolling Thunder and Lie Zhu. Lie Zhu carrying seven pounds, but showing no mercy here as battles up on the inside and runs up for second. Make it take the lead. Take the lead, why don't you? Lie Zhu and Harry Tongue. It is one hairy race out here yet again on a beautiful Thursday afternoon. Three quarters in 117 and solo Harry running out. It's Harry Tongue. Opens up by three, three and a half. No one wants to deal with that hairy business today. Closest thing to a competition is Rolling Thunder there. With Liazu as these two are just going to battle on. And comes Kashgar in fourth with Capella. Capella starts to advance here with a rally. And Harry Waffles is in six. In the blue silks, no rush yet. But we're running out of time as they head into the far turn. And it's Harry Tongue still awaiting the challenge. Blech. But Liazu is now trying to pull off the rail and make uh -oh. way. But it's not enough as Harry Tongue is skating away. But Capella, hold up. Capella on the outside. Capella moves all the way up with a sweeping move with Kashgar as well. But it's Harry Tongue now takes him off the stretch. And it's in her home stretch now 200 meters to go. I feel like I'm in a tribal village, but it's Harry Tongue by two. Capella's <laughs> on the far outside trying to gain. Harry but not Tongue! Gonna catch him today, as it's going to be Harry Very Tongue confident. over Capella and Cashgar. <laughs> Don't forget to brush your teeth. Uh, uh, <laughs> at, least, at least Harry Pickle wasn't in that race. Harry, oh, Harry that's Tongue, unfortunate. Yeah. Lifetime cigarette smoker, Harry Tongue, the horse. <laughs> Marlboro Man, sponsor. Yeah. Wow, good call, Mo. As always, of course. Man, that was yeah, a rough one. I'm inter rusty. Interesting, interesting colored horses winning these races. What's what does it mean? What are the what gods telling what us? What does it all mean? All right, so this one now we could talk a little. It's the wagering windows. Let me ask you guys: Do you want to talk about one where we can actually bet, or do you want to talk one? This one's already you got closed. Five, you got five minutes on this one, don't you? This one's <laughs> this one the wagering is closed, but this one's Betting open if we want to talk about the stakes. Let's 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 bet. Let's let's talk about some wagers. So, let's and then bet. the other one's already closed. Let let's see what we got here. Uh, all right, third time Thursday stakes. So this is a G two. You guys are kind of you know finding your way around and, and learning uh, the ways of this game. You've got two horses from the same stable. These are the Colt and the Philly. You know, hanging out, learning from each other. You've got Wolof. If you guys don't know, Wolof the Bandito, Wolof uh, won uh, countless championships in our mobile game, so he's been around for years. You've got Pocono, who showed up in the last year and has just built a monster stable. And then D-Stables from, you know, Frank's crew, Aaron D-Gods and, uh, and his brethren. I don't know, 250 people in that Dow run this stable, so Duppy Dupree. So, um I don't know. Right offhand, I'm going to ask Baltazar and Peeb your your thoughts on who you take, and then we'll ask the new the noobs their thoughts as well. 
I like K2. K2 and IX. Ajax. IX is the English pronunciation, Ajax, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. K2. Uh, K2. I like K2. From Pocono. Uh, let's see. What, what, is, what was this race again? This is a uh, eight furlong. Left turf. So, left turf. A little rainy. Oh. Okay. All right. So you like Ajax K2. is a... Uh, Ajax is a former TT Derby winner, isn't he? He won the last mm. LT. I like it. So currently winning the win pool is uh, Iox, Ajax. So Ajax, a uh, current um, you know, uh, favorite at 1.65. So, all right, what about you, Baltazar? You got a pick there? What would you think? I'd probably go for Ajax, but I'll be honest, my resolution on the screen is making it hard for me to actually read the names of the horses, so I could be uh, missing a there. Yeah, if you're if you're looking at it through the through the room that we're all in, you should you might as well go to the site itself. Yeah, go to right. YouTube or Twitch or something. But yeah, um, so Ajax out of Wolof's crew, nine, eleven, ten, ten, nine. So he's been running long distance. Jeez, went from what happened here? A fifth and a third. Hmm. What did the field not, look like? Uh, not super consistent, if you look at uh, our boy here. Bad-tempered, huh? Ill-tempered. I look at the ticket. Does he have ill temper? Oh, yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Called it. Oh, go away. Go away. Zero temper from his original. Uh, I don't know. He wins so that means he, wants he, to. Could, he could overperform, you know, right? I don't know. All right. And then you've got... Uh, K2. All right, so the new guys, Jay and Nettie, have you guys placed any bets here? Have you got any? Uh, well, I'll go with Jay first. Have you been uh, analyzing did this we, one yet? Did we place any bets? Nettie is probably the two <laughs> biggest degenerates here, I feel like. Um, I am on IX and Twitch. Oh, wow, okay. Twitch. All right. Let me I am IX. riding the Colts here. Though I, I do, I'm upset that I didn't take a harder look at Doopy Dupree. I, I, I like them. As well, I don't know if I necessarily like them to win, but I could see them in the po on the podium for sure. Mm -hmm. There's a yeah. lot of liquidity all over the place now, so it's starting to get to the point where it is starting to ramp up now. That's for sure. Yeah, it's changing, it's changing a little bit of the wind pool. As Lacey it. says, we've had the biggest pots since Nettie and Jay showed up. Yeah, <laughs> you guys are <laughs> carrying everything. the D-Gen pots. Yeah, yeah we thank you for that. A few. We we do. Oh, it's still that. rolling in. You know, Doopy yeah. Dupree just went into got into the top spot here. Oh, yeah. Um, liquidity, yeah. yeah. Duffy. So this one, as far as I remember, ha has been a champion since, like, Beta V1. I mean, this – Duppy has always been a contender, right? I mean, yeah, we've seen him 80, on the podium a lot. An yeah. 85 fleet figure, dude. I mean, you know, this this dude can run. That's nine furlongs, left turf soft, ran an 85. Yeah. Uh, I think Ajax has been – Ajax has been very successful as well. So he was previously okay. Dean Eggs. Um, yeah. Oh, Dina's changed yeah. hands. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Ran an 84 on the slop. Ran an 83 and fast. Oh, wow. That's wild. Yeah. Well, I guess it's fast, so maybe it would have been. It's a 15. Uh, he's got a kid. Congrats on having a child. Yeah, that's me. Right, Sorry, he's telling me to take right. my hat off, my bit. <laughs> yeah, that's my kid's. Uh, yeah, but I, I took a. Uh, I originally took K2 for this race. Okay. But then uh, I was looking at the stats again, and then I think I just uh, I put like 250 on uh, the Doopy Dupree. Mm -hmm. I was looking through through, through uh, his stats, and he likes the this is an eight furlong, right? right? Yeah, yeah. I was right. looking through, and he's been he's been like first or second in like a bunch of eight furlongs. So I was like, you know what, screw it. I'll put 250 on this, and I think I put like 160 on a K2 to win. Someone just dumped huge money on K2, and Ajax is looking. Sexy to me. I would throw money on Ajax. And actually, right when I right when I thought that somebody did, I just saw like 200 rolling on him. <laughs> so K2 now leading the favorite. Well, the money is moving in quickly. It is pretty wild to see it is this. It's rolling now. This is good. This is very good. We like All it. graded. This is a G2. Again, there's no weight on any of these horses. Uh, here comes more. Everyone piling in. So 30 on, ooh, on K2. I don't one. know. It's, uh, let's see, 60. I, I won a, I won a 20, I 22 times my money on Ajax before, so I had to go play a place wager on it. Oh, wow. Yeah, you had it, to pay, I, uh, pay homage. Yeah, I was just throwing a thousand. Yeah, I just took the thousand derby on it. 
on Ajax, you can't ignore who the hell's got him thrown load on K2. That's a lot of derby. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely an attractive. That's an attractive bet right there for sure. I feel like we're missing the other race though. So, oh, well, betting closes in five seconds. So that's a pretty much close. Let's see this one. All right, here we go. Restricted, which we didn't bet on. Four horse race. Poor Harry King is in there. Uh, heading down to you at the track. <laughs> Harry King. Oh my. All he right. Wins, it's over for us. I think that might have been the biggest wager pool. I, that, that got up to like eight, eight k. Yeah. Eight and a half. That was pretty big, yeah. Online. Massive four horse field and they're off here and running. And is on fire from down at the rail, runs out to the lead with Edinburgh. As these two are gonna leave Pebbles and Harry King to deal with their own little race in the back as we make our way now into the first turn here in this short five furlong right turning affair on the turf. And it's Wimbledon runner here in the red silks tearing away here and that's on fire say it again and it's on fire by three in the early goings uh oh out pebbles who starts to come up here for looking for a challenge with edinburgh taps on the brakes and harry king don't even know if they realize they're racing here but off the turn we go and into the home stretch and it's pebbles now by length and a half and it's on fire down at the rail may have blown their load early edinburgh's trying to chase but here might have seen their best as they pass into the final hundred meters and it's gonna be pebbles by two over on fire and edinburgh and then it's somewhere it's harry king <laughs> nice nice one. yeah <laughs> One didn't like it that did not result. Pebbles. Yeah, that, that baby <laughs> did not have yeah. pebbles. Obviously, put it all on Harry King there. Mistake. <laughs> all right, so now we can go. So we're waiting for the next one this time, Dowell. We can go to the Thursday Cup, the G1. Now we can hand Thursday Cup, four entrants. Four horses on the G1. Baltazar versus. Look at you two. Oh, my God. Oh. Uh, wow. <laughs> It's not a double, double, double sided really lightsaber duel for this, for this race, just FYI. Who had the stones to go two versus two? These two on the stage. I mean, this is something <laughs> else. So, why don't you, uh, Baltazar, tell us about your two horses here. What have you been learning from them in the paddock, you know, back at the stables? Now, let's hear about them. Strengths and weaknesses. Yeah, yeah it's been interesting. Um, not super consistent uh, on on the Sparrow side. Sparrow can win big races, but if you kind of take a look up at, at Sparrow's race history, you see kind of a lot of variations. You get spike up and down there in the middle. So you see the line sort of um, leveling out there has just been trying to dial it in with the math that went live more recently. Um, this is almost a test race for me um, because I'm not exactly sure where he is going to run during go live. The other one, um, High T, I, I think, famous last words, I think is is best at long distances and very wet conditions. And that seems to have stayed relatively consistent throughout most of this beta. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think I had this ticket during the last beta. So just trying to dial it in. I mean, the problem is we have to run against Peeb, uh, so we'll see how this goes. But uh, <laughs> yeah, one of those uh, spikes there, fingers crossed. Mm-hmm. Look yeah. Okay. Up here, man. Fully, fully suited. So let's see the high T at the Ritz. Let's just look at the ticket. High T was a uh, oh big, big speed, big finish, low tempered. Oh, that's a good distance horse. Should be. Okay. All right. Yeah, so now part of the, it might have been the one of the soulmate trades I did. I don't know. There's too many trades to keep track of, but that one was not originally with me. I have that one more recently. All right, and then heading over to YSM. Look at these two. 100K. Not too many horses have, have, have eclipsed the 100K mark, right? I mean, uh, that's a big one. Yeah, Bar Barbarity is the 11th horse to go over 100K. 11th horse. Um, huh? Let's hear about Barbarity. Yeah. Um, so that's one we bred ourselves um, on the, one of the last days of breeding, I think. Our, our uh, net buy price is actually really low for that horse, um, inexplicably. I think someone tried to dump their filly on one of the last days of breeding. Um, it's been a pretty consistent performer throughout all of the beaters. Um, so, yeah, we're pretty hopeful for that one. We think it's probably still our best horse. Um, and what then happened on Eclipse. this last... Oh, you did a short race. It just didn't work, huh? 
Yeah, let's have a look what the last one was. Um, we're still dialing in her, her preferences. We're pretty sure she's a uh, uh, eight nine furlong would be her um, ideal. She can do the um, she can do the longer races, so eleven seems okay for her. I don't think there's many LDS horses that have a strength in in the uh, 10, 11, 12 furlongs, so it's always worth mm -hmm. throwing them in. Um, Eclipse is a really interesting one. So that used to be um, the record holder for um, the PFL most amount spent on a horse. That was, I think we broke the record about, about this time last year when we bought that for about 200 Sol when Sol was worth something. Um, <laughs> those were the days. Those were the days, yeah. Uh, yeah I remember. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, she's yeah, um, her, oh he, I, it's a yeah. he, he has uh, definitely been surging lately, looking pretty strong here. Yeah, so hopefully the race math changes might have helped him out, or maybe we just find him where he runs, I don't know. Um, but yeah, 9 out of 9 preferences, 25 boost, 3 or 4 matches. Um, pretty pretty rare S-. minus. Yeah. That's no probably kidding. one of the best S-minuses in, in the game by far, isn't it? That's probably, what, top 5? Yeah, it has to be. Has to be. To yeah. have all of the threes, only only knock is stamina. Oh, starts down by one two. Okay. Wow. Yeah, there's not. Eleven um, long race. Yeah, who cares? <laughs> there's one horse in all of LDS that has three stamina. Literally one horse. It's Nay horse, and it's owned by Big Brain, and mm -hmm. he won't sell it to us. I've tried. Believe me. <laughs> uh, you'll get there though. After a few gins, you know. Uh, two strong parents. Yeah, you, need, uh... you need to wear them down in real life. I mean, that's why we need to bring you guys together more so you can really wheel a deal in person. Yeah. So, okay. Yeah, so you see, got... I... Go ahead. Yeah. I was going to say, I would I would genuinely have looked to come to the uh, Kentucky Derby this year, but I think I've said before, we've got uh, my third child is literally arriving on the 5th of June on the 5th of May. So, even the missus won't sign that one off. Yeah. Mm. Br bring him. Bring him. You know, bring the kid. Come on. Maybe, maybe, in the, in maybe the, the infield, partner. Come on. Free admission. Yeah. You know, we are born on the infield means you got lifetime admission. It's a big ten. It's a big ten. Born in the infield. You're selling it to me, actually. Ooh, it's big good. ten, man. Name him. Uh, if you can help me sell it to the. Uh, yeah. If you can help so me sell it to the it, wife, then. We're and, good. Uh, if I throw it at Jay and Nettie here, uh, well, you know, this is a tough one, you guys. Four horse field. Where do you plow? Where do you drain the IRA if you're uh, looking at this one? Yeah, where do you sell your son's college fund into? <laughs> what are you doing with that? Come on, Jay. Hit us with I'm it. riding Sparrow here. Okay. Um, I think I'm pretty sure undefeated at 11 furlongs. I think this is going to be a two-horse race, honestly. We'll see. Um, I, I like Sparrow. I like the two S horses. Don't get me wrong. Eclipse like has a chance here, but I like the two S horses to finish one, too. Mm, all right, so exacta box one four, or four one if you were doing normal exacta. And yeah, I don't, I don't like that pick at all. That's terrible. Nettie. Okay, Nettie's going <laughs> that's a, with. That's a, that's a terrible. Nettie's pick troll, Nettie that's trolling you in real life it. right now. <laughs> that's a square pick. Pick. It is a square. I mean, it's this, just is, this is how Nettie interacts with the world. This is how it works. The track is sloppy. It's a slop fest right now. Eclipse is going to win this by at least ten lengths. Oh man, ten lengths. I like the preference <laughs> belief. I, I like that thesis, man. That is, I mean, that yeah. does, uh, one would assume a, a, a mutter whose mother was a mutter and their mother was a mutter is going to yeah. really love the slop. They're going to love the slop. Um, I don't know, Fib, who would you tick? Uh, you know, like, who, who's your uh, 401k getting liquidated now if I'm Now, if I'm a betting man, I see people are really going all in on the preferences. Um, looking at barbarity i would probably sink liquidity on barbarity i like barbarity mm. to win mm. and so i'd probably i'd probably go in and try to like try to sneak some i'd probably try to sneak some liquidity away there yep uh high tea, yeah i like the odds there i i don't really believe in high tea at the ritz even though that's my favorite name by far um so the drunker i was the more likely i would bet on that one Color and, too. Uh, I mean, it's kind of a. It's not yeah. even a gray. It's like a. That's a strange. Uh, wonder what the genes are of that. Like it's a, a light brownish mixed yeah. with a gray, like a roan. Strawberry. Yeah, I'm kind of. I'm kind of on. I'm kind of that. along with Jay here. I'm kind of along with Jay here. I would sneak. What I would do is I'd probably, if I had like an amount I wanted to throw on this race, I'd put two thirds barbarity, one third sparrow. Mm. Is how I'd bet it. Well, just so exact a box would be your. You know, maybe you'd go one. Sure. Four, yeah. But uh -huh. it, you know, here on our site today, yeah. 
I mean, high T taking 11 to 1. It's hard to Got not, 15 like, seconds throw a little... on the snakes race, by the way. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's go back. All right. G2 with Ajax. We all, uh, there were a lot of different guppy heading down to the track. Our man, Mo, who has uh, got a poncho on, looking kind of rainy down there. Hurricane Keep those bones dry. Detail. And... There he is. All right, we are here. Yes, it is nasty. Nasty, nasty. But the birthday boss man tells us to come down here and we do it. If that's what we do. It's race time. Major race here on Frodo Finish. Five horse field in the gate. And they're racing. It's Dupee Dupree runs along from the inside or even the middle. Then Ajax there down at the rail. Back there, that's K2 in the yellow silks, followed by Amumu in fourth. And it's going to be Twitch taking up the back of the pack here, but only about five lengths from the leader. D Stables runner here in the green silks. Bring them names back for me, please. Wow, I'm having a rough day. It's Duffy Dupree. One day we'll remember the names, but for now we don't. Opening quarter in 24 and change, and Stupid Dupree being challenged here by Amumu and Ajax as Z3 trek their way around the sloppy turn. Now it's Amumu, starts to pull away a little bit here, opens up by length and a half. And back to Dupree, and Ajax is sitting tightly in third. Now Twitch starts to pull a little bit of a move here from the back and accelerate in fourth with K2, my betting money, on K2 is now in dead last. No sh shock there. Opening half is coming on in 49 change, 49 even, as Amumu is playing no games here today, opens up by three. And it's Ajax who continues to try to make moves here. But it's K2 with their eyes set on the leader from the back of the pack now in the third. Off the turn, they're heading for home. The street lights are on and Mama's gone. And it's a moo moo by two. Oh my lord. Ajax, all they can do is watch as Duffy Dupree oh, is down the oh, center no. of the track in room. But it's Duffy Dupree and Duffy. Ajax now Can't on the inside. Him. Duffy Dupree Ajax. on the outside, but it's going to be Ajax cleaning wow. the countertops with the rest of the crew. Hey. And over Duffy Dupree and wow. Twitch. Man, Wolof. Boom. Don't fade Wolof. That, that would have been a good bet. Would have been a good bet. It was a favorite, right? Boring chalk. No, it didn't, he didn't end oh, up. Oh, no, no he, right. he started right. as yeah, He started as the chalk, yeah. K2. Wow, good race, man. Way you like when the chalk becomes not the chalk, and then you can bet the not chalk. That's still the chalk. Yeah. What did it end up? What was, what was the, fin the uh, finish here? Here we go. Skipping ahead. Sorry. Here we go. Okay, 1-5. Anybody have one five in their exactas? I don't think so. It seemed like you guys all said four and one, right? I, I actually I took the one to win and the five to play at place. Yeah. <laughs> Never <laughs> so, mind. Shows what I know. It Nailed it. There he is, Drilled man. Drilled it. I like Blind squirrel got, finds his nut. <laughs> <laughs> so, here's a question. I, I'm not sure about the if 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 you get a right like if you place if you bet a place bet on Ajax, do you get a portion of that or no? Because are you betting that they come in second, or you still get money because they came in first and second? Right. It's like it's like putting in two bets, a first and okay. a second. Like right. Yeah. So, like I understand like the whole like I understand yeah. real like horse racing. I just didn't know if like the same technology for that is on this. Like, I didn't know if you were betting like that horse would only come in second. No. Yeah. It's it's first or second. We we do the same thing as real life. The only wrinkle is really that like a lot of times our place and show pools are very small, so you right. end up with this sort of like oh. I thought I was going to get, you know, he came in third. I thought I should get a show, and it's like there was nothing there, and you don't, you know, so th that's the only issue. But, no, we do exactly what they do in real life. Um, okay, I didn't, I didn't, I just made sure. Yeah. Uh, man, that was a good one. Good pick. Win exotics, do, Doughboy asking. Yeah, as soon as we get a couple more people in here, we're going to start flipping on the pick threes and the pick sixes, and it's going to be great. I can't wait. The jackpot rollovers, season by season, building up for the pick six. It's going to be killer. Can't wait, can't wait. Yeah. Can't wait. Chili's tonight, yep. Chili's tonight, Freaking baby. Ajax betters. We two stay for getting ones. those margaritas. Yeah, we stay getting two those margaritas. southwestern egg rolls. <laughs> All right, <laughs> so I mean? then we've got the G1 is the last one of the day. Is that right? So these, these uh, or let me make sure there's nothing else in the middle. Oh, Gulfstream coming up. we got a qualifier. Mm. Anybody in this one? Ooh. 
Uh, I got some big names in there. Look at that. Mm, some S's going for the big money. Walter White. Boy. Well, we've got a couple of minutes. How are you guys feeling about handicaps? I know there's a big change that went through handicaps recently. And it, in fact, five minutes ago on the stream, a B plus went and won a handicap, which was probably unheard of. Um, a couple yeah. of days ago. How are we, how are we feeling about it? I mean, it's, it's hard. We get asked that, like, how do we feel? I don't feel comfortable ever. <laughs> Just so you know. Um, I, but all, part of that is crippling anxiety of my life. But, you know, I, I do think that there's always going to be progress that needs to be made on these and, like, kind of constant tuning. There, there's such a tough balance of, like, finding that everyone can feel like they can compete while there's this chunk of graded races at the top that feel like, well, it was worth going for a great horse. And it's I am not getting beaten by B, B horses because of handicaps. So um, I don't know, man. I really don't. Like, how do I feel? Uh, still uneasy. <laughs> like, mm. still, still, like, progress, but also not feeling like it's done, I guess, is how I feel. Um, so we're, we are looking, like, really heavy at this schedule. It's a brand new schedule starting on Wednesday. It, it, that's the plan. Um, and, you know, we are, like, analyzing the shit out of that. I've been running, like, simulations on it um trying to see you know any kind of data that i can get to make sure that it makes sense but i i'm, I'm not going to lie and say that it's like oh yeah no problem i feel great i, I don't it, it definitely needs uh constant care um and uh analysis i, th I think in a, i think in a way um the foot the quite fundamental change that you did for v at the start of v3 I know it was, um, and in fact, I reacted to it in, in uh, among other people. I think resetting expectations like that was actually a good thing in hindsight. I think um, having us just basically reminding us that the race math isn't finished and, and isn't quite there, I think is probably a good thing. And now I think there is a sense of zen around the community, around any changes, really. Maybe, maybe I missed, maybe, maybe there isn't, maybe everyone still goes up in arms every time there's a change. No, it did seem to sort of like that was the band-aid that did need to be pulled. But, but yeah, I, I mean, it did. Right. It was a lot of variables at once. And so, like, we already know, like, when aging gets turned back on, when the when we go live, you know, we already did sort of resettle ourselves to say, okay, Gen Zero, all ages, you know, basically are going to move the same. So it, it doesn't really hurt or help any Gen Zero. And then it starts in Gen 1. So that was like a good thing to learn because at the beginning of that happening, that was like, everyone was like, what the hell? I had an amazing horse. Now he sucks. And we're looking at his stats and he's like, no, he's still awesome. Oh, he's only awesome. He's not awesome until he's four. You know, so there were things like that that we did have to learn. But it is interesting to see like people like uh, Pocono uh, who, you know, really invested a bunch of time and, and, and value into that stable. And all of a sudden he was winning at like a 50 percent clip. And now all of a sudden he's not to him to and that to be so painful at the beginning and now he's like let's just go live man let's just do it we got this we're gonna figure it out and i mm. i do love that mentality that like you do have to sort of say look man whatever problem you throw at me i'm going to solve it better than everyone else um but personally as a game developer i don't want to keep throwing new like i don't want to change major things you know i i want it to feel like a very D tough problem to solve but not that i keep changing which problem it is you know so um yeah yeah, yeah i, I mean, do agree i think you know. one of the ways i see it i mean you you probably saw some of those dominant horses at the back end of v2 and i mean those horses have been bred out of gen zero so you were you're almost amending race math to fix a problem or to fix a um an imbalance that happens maybe in later gens but actually the gen zeros on paper are a little bit closer or they always felt it um like in terms of performance on the track they're probably a little bit closer so changing race math for them which might actually benefit the future horses and make sure that those horses aren't as quite as dominant as they they were in those versions i think that's probably something that maybe we're not taking into account right now mm -hmm. it is it is a whole different world to think about we were in the midst of what season 18 or something you know six, season 15 when we and then now then we just changed to literally only one season with only the Gen Zeros. So it was a big, dramatic shift. Um, but yeah, man. Did, I, did I, the breeding I, math get changed at all relative to the last betas before going? Did you say the breeding math? Yeah. 
Yeah, did that change at all, or is that going no, to be different? No, not really. Yeah, the breeding math I don't think actually had that much of a difference. I mean, the age was the big part of that. That like it used to be in the betas, but it didn't has have as much of an impact. Like the the slopes weren't what we wanted, and so that was the big like sort of like freak out uh, when we flipped it on in beta three. <laughs> was like age mattered a lot, which is what we'd always wanted it to, but then you know didn't. All right, anyway, we're up. Race is up, and we're down. And I'll answer this uh, in the chat. Are you there, Mo? Last Alrighty. time your your, uh, your megaphone's off. Just so you know. Oh, my megaphone's off. Yeah, whoops. All right, technical difficulty here on 420. Not to be surprised. And they're off here in the third time Thursday Cup, and it's Barbarity who runs out to the early lead. And it's Sparrow there at the break of two and a half, followed by Clips down at the rail. And High T at the Ritz is going to run along in fourth tier as they make their way into the clubhouse turn. And it's 11 furlong left turning affair on the sloppy dirt. What are we going to talk about for 11 furlongs? Who knows? But for now, let's talk about the race. It's Barbarity by two, but instantly challenged here by Sparrow, who wants to take their share to lead here as they pass the wire for the first time. As we know that we like to wave to the leader as they pass here the clubhouse, but they're going around again. Hope they don't think they won yet. But for now, it's going to be Sparrow by two and a half, and Barbarity is just going to shadow down at the rail. And it's high tea at the Ritz, looking for room here, but in no hurry. And it's Eclipse, better get that jockey a GPS to find the finish line. But for now, in dead last, opening half and 51 and change. No rush, modest pace. And Barbarity is holding the best of it here around the turn. Barbarity by two, but Sparrow wants to instantly challenge here with a sweep and move and takes it. And it's high tea at the Ritz is going to run along with him. Barbarity knocked back now for third with Eclipse. Must have had a cup of coffee and woke up because here they come. But it's high tea at the Ritz now is going to take their lead. Sparrow now back for second with Barbarity at the rail. Is it going to hang tight like an old new kid on the block groupie? Now it's Eclipse back for fourth. Only about three lengths to make up there. If you got that joke, I am so sorry that you're that old. But here we go into the far turn. One mile and one minute and 43 seconds. And oh my lord, I'm still talking. But high tea at the Ritz. Now passed on the inside. Barbarity saves the best for last and pounces right to the lead and opens up by four. Holds oh, up. Boy. Way what? a minute. Four. Five, Feeling eight, out. Mile. Not so oh, fast, 30. my friend. Here we go. It's Barbarity for four, and now it's Sparrow trying to catch him. But all they can do is watch as that lead is starting to increase. And Barbarity just needs to stay on the horse here. If they know it's good form, Sparrow, then Eclipse, and it's going to be a battle for third between Eclipse and High T at the Ritz. But it's one, four, two. Order of finish. Wow. So who, Nettie, who had These jockeys These jockeys would crash. Jay, who was your pick? I said it was between the two S horses. I had Sparrow, but I liked one and four. Yeah. Wow. Well, yes, you did. There you go. And the clip is trash. Oh, that horse. Nettie, I think who it's called the doo doo. Get rid of that thing. <laughs> <laughs> We're burning the ticket just for Nettie. Yeah, seriously, get rid <laughs> of that thing. That's just, that yeah. just a waste of stars right there. Game. I don't want everyone to see that horse again on my screen. Wow, that was a pretty subpar performance for a nine-star. What happened there? YSM, did you guys forget to feed him this week? What, what's going on? You didn't do the Lasix on this turn, or what's going on? Yeah, I didn't give him his lucky rub before the uh, before he went out on the track, unfortunately. Oh, man. Oversight. <laughs> but for a few, yeah. for a few mm. crown, we can do that for you going forward. <laughs> we'll tell you that. I think um, I think Barbara has just gone to the top of the leaderboard on the Purple Crown, the uh, the community mm. cup that's being run by MVP Crowns. With that yeah, one, that's, huh? a, that's a fun one. Like you'd love to see that kind of engagement coming up just from the community, right? Like I expect we're going to see a lot more of that going forward. But uh, yeah, I went and bet in some like sweet rat. I think it's like an auction thing they're doing. So go head over to their Twitter and buy some tickets and stuff. And that's awesome. Yeah. Are, you talking about are, you talking about the, are you talking about the fib cup is that we're talking yeah, about yeah yeah well he made like yeah. another cup the yeah the purple one yeah the purple yeah yeah kootsie's kootsie's amazing love that 
Oh, hey, Finn. Can I ask a question? What's up, dude? Go ahead. I'll say real quick. I'm good, by the way, Fib. Thanks for not asking earlier. Just, you know, just throwing it out there. Oh, yeah, yeah, you know, no problem, man. Yeah. Taking me for granted yeah. nowadays. Just, you know, just, yeah, that's all good. Yeah, the you good know. thing was that I wasn't really concerned, Mo, so thanks. Happy thanks to be here. Like okay, yeah, just, yeah. As long, okay, as long as we're clear, happy to be here. All right, carry on with the <laughs> love show. Love you, buddy. Yeah. I mean, I know with Mo on 420, I know Mo is good. Like, we yeah, all so, know yeah, you're good to go. He's extra saucy today, dude. What's in, what's no, in can the I say something real quick, though? What's in the Pineapple Express today, man? <laughs> real quick, though, I'll say it. I'm actually profitable uh, the past couple of days Ooh. of racing and actually getting some races, you know what I'm saying? So I, that's cool. You know, my horse, I don't, yeah. you know, I don't have the greatest barn, but I am profitable. You know, my three versus have been running hey, pretty good with the new math update, so thank you for that. And uh, yeah, that's all I got. That's great. What you, what's, your, what's your strat? What have you have you changed anything in terms of your approach, or was it was it what we changed? So I level with you. I don't really race in the higher tier races. So for me, it's just a matter of when is the I'm cheap as fuck races come up. <laughs> you know, like when those come up, you know, for a couple bucks to get in, like those are the ones I usually get into, like four or five bucks and under. I, I can't hang, you know, with any. I have like eight, like eight horses, I think. Yeah, eight horses. I, it's hard for me to, you know, keep running eight horses at like higher prices so i try to run like i said a couple dollar races here and there i know i'm in the minority people like their high stakes but yeah so that's kind of what makes a break for me i'll throw them in some okay. weird races every now and then you know Great. But... Mm -hmm. stack up that bankroll that's what it's all yeah, about dude. Yep. For you. baby steps what was, uh, there was someone was someone had a question what was it netty yeah, yeah i got a question. question yeah man so did you guys um before i let before i like sold out and came back um, in between there, I guess you guys like s like switched on like the whole derby thing. Like you guys, were you guys planning doing the derby thing, like the derby like currency the whole time, or was that like a like a decision in in between like betas? Well, we always had derby as the currency, um, and we, we did go back and forth. But basically, we had we had like one or few one or two well, maybe it was a month where we were allowing just USDC straight races. But the, those were just sort of like us testing to make sure that we had that system working with the onboarding. But Derby has always been the majority of the races. And the, just the biggest difference was in all the other betas, we would just airdrop Derby to everyone. So every Monday was, or whatever was, day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I, I, guess, I guess my question was more like yeah. towards like, like, I guess, because like when I was in it, there wasn't like paid racing. So that's one of the big things I was like waiting for to come back for was like yeah. the whole paid racing side. But I didn't know that you guys were going to make like the derby, like the paid racing currency. But like, like I was saying in the, um, another projects discord earlier today that like that, having that currency as like your, like your like money currency and having it actually reflect like USDC or whatever is probably like one of the smartest things because I literally just throw derby around like I don't even know like the, I know it's eighty to one but I ain't sitting here doing math I'm just I'm like all right two fifty sure, this is so, this is so funny Nettie because I remember talking to you I was holding my tongue a little bit when we talked about this in Discord the other day I remember this moment and you were just like why are you guys why do you do that eighty to one why do you I do mean that? it is no. it is the dumbest thing you know. I have to, that <laughs> It's no, so it's great for us. It's great for it's great like, for the it business, sense. my friend. No, it makes sense because no, like then then I may or may not have been suggesting to another project that like oh my god like your guys paid racing would be going off right now if everyone wasn't <laughs> focused on dollar values right now. Yeah, and to be cl to be clear with you, we did not invent this. You know what I mean? Like this is no, not, we no. didn't invent that. We didn't. Yeah, invent but it's that like the smartest well. thing ever. Like on, like honestly, whoever did invent it, dude, like they're they're geniuses because whatever they were doing it for, they probably made millions of dollars because people have no idea how much they're spending. Actually, they absolutely did, and you're correct. So. Yeah. So if the the backstory there is, um, it's inspired by uh, Microsoft points. So if anybody had a 360 and you remember the you know your Microsoft points, those were always uh, you would get a card with twenty dollars on it and it was worth sixteen hundred Microsoft points. And I always remember thinking, like, where the fuck did they come up with that? Um, <laughs> like, it's just the wildest number. And you always Arbitrary. would have, like, weird remainders. You'd have 45. You'd have 90. You'd have these strange numbers. And you're like, uh. And so, yeah, it just eventually becomes a, a currency in the game that you don't have to do the math on. And then, it, so, yeah, it, it is on purpose obfuscated. Um, it also feels a little bit more fun, like in the horse racing side, where we can say, hey, it's a million dollar, million derby race which is now, you know, a million divided by 80. And so you can, like, it was it was interesting when Soul was firing up and, you know, it was 200 bucks per one Soul. I just kept thinking, well, that's kind of lame to then have a race for 0.5 Soul. 
that feels not as good as a race for 8,000 Derby uh, for me personally. And same with ETH, right? It's like if you're racing for 0.1 ETH, yeah, that's, that's nowhere yeah, near yeah. as cool as 10,000 Derby. 0. .0003 BTC or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Imagine that. That's so funny. Yeah. So that was why we did it. And then similarly, the whole reason that we have a virtual currency is just so that it's stable and it's in the game. It's not traded outside. And then like we can onboard people from mobile or from any platform without them having to have crypto wallets. That was sort of the main. Yeah, definitely. Too. We did we did we did research on like there you know a lot of other horse racing platforms do use a fluctuating token currency as like the main currency for all their transactions and there's a lot of reasons why that's just a terrible idea. So yeah. the way that we the way that we have it is in my opinion definitely one of the I think probably the best possible way that we could have done it. And yeah, it yeah. sets us up for a lot. So Here's the uh, third time raceway Gulfstream Derby. So this one's just a G2 qualifier. All these guys going to earn some points right for the the upcoming third time derby um those tuning in these races the ones that you see with like the little carnations on them are for special series you earn points you have to earn points to qualify for the big race at the end of the week uh soon enough i can't tell you an exact date yet because i'm still working on it this will actually become the real road to the derby the road to the kentucky derby kentucky so every derby. single month uh all of you guys can contribute and fight and and dominate your competition on the way to earning a real spot in the real virtual Kentucky Derby. Why it's going to take a little bit of time, we're trying to make sure that we make the real virtual Kentucky Derby very impactful. The rewards are amazing. They're special, you know, rewards that are one of one type things. You know, we want to make sure that it's awesome. Hopefully yeah, we absolutely get landmark sponsors event. and we have a big stream. You know, the event of the virtual Kentucky Derby every single month should be a real blast. All of us getting together. The juleps are pouring, you know, the whole thing is going on. So, uh, but we do think that will actually be relatively uh, quick. I'm hoping by season two, maybe it's season three, but I'm hoping season two. Like the the main thing we've had to get is the approval from Churchill Downs. Like we talked about that in last week's stream. We have to re, you know, model their entire Churchill Downs perfectly. And so we're going back and forth, getting all that dialed in, uh, which has been fun. But I'm hoping it's next season and it'll be ready and it'll be super rad. I mean, I can't believe it. Like one of... Maybe Baltazar, maybe Peep. You will have a rose blanket draped over your horse. I mean, can you imagine you're going to the actual Kentucky Derby on your horse? It's pretty wild. <laughs> maybe I care too much, but it seems no, really it's, cool. No, it's amazing. Yeah. It's insane. Will yeah. it be on uh, ESPN 8 Dojo? What'd you say? I said, I said, will it be on ESPN 8 The Ocho? <laughs> yeah, The Ocho. The Ocho. That's exactly yeah. where we're streaming it. The uh, Nueve. Walter right. <laughs> Yeah. Nice the win from Walter White. The mojo. <laughs> the mocha. Uh, yeah, dude. I, I think uh, if we could find a spot to stream it, like, yeah, I bet we could I bet we could grease some wheels and find someone on ESPN Classic or somewhere to, to show it. You know, TVG, I just remember, like, the beginning of, uh, of COVID, like, they were just putting anything on ESPN. It was hilarious. It was, like, <laughs> hacky stack and, like, bag tossing and uh, people flying drones around. It was hilarious. Yeah, the uh, Cornhole Championships have been actually pretty fun to watch, like, when they started broadcasting those. I'm like, man, people are really good at Cornhole. It's just, like, dunk three in a row every time. It's, like, man. it's the human spirit triumphing. We just find wherever, whatever arena we can, and we compete, compete. to the death. Yes. So, Ian, are you are you expecting to have a Kentucky a virtual Kentucky Derby once every season? Once we get into once full a flow? season, yeah, once a season, once a month, yeah, or every four weeks. The original plan of the game design was actually a you know a triple crown. So the first week would be Derby, the second would be Preakness, the third would be Belmont. You know that kind of a vibe. But as we see how many races there are and how many horses, like I do think we have to kind of temper that a little bit. It does feel mm. like it would still make a lot of sense to have one derby per season. Maybe the whole season culminates with the Kentucky Derby. And I think that would probably be fine because that, one thing I uh, really, you know, we have to balance it. Like, of course, I want to put all the eggs in the Kentucky Derby basket. That's the best brand there is. But I'm not trying to screw over everyone that has, you know, right turning yeah. turf horses, you know. So we do have to make sure that there's just as impactful of a race series for every type. I mean, that's always the balance to make sure that we don't. Like, yeah, we signed a partnership, and all you people that have that don't have left turning dirt horses, you're screwed. Uh, we're not trying to do that. So, um, yeah. On that, on that note, surely you've slid into the DMs of Royal Ascot, right? <laughs> not yet. Uh, not yet. <laughs> so if anybody knows anyone at Ascot, now I did. <laughs> I, 
I almost don't want to convey it. I, I have a secret agent who's trying to infiltrate the Ascot, but I won't, I won't unveil it because it could be one of the best things ever if it happens. But I do have a boots on the ground trying to get in on the Ascot. Um, Beautiful. And yeah, so hopefully that's, you know, the, the community is so powerful here that, uh, you know, maybe we can pull something off. Yeah, so say, have a little, a cool say a little 420 prayer for that to go off. Everybody, please. <laughs> was... <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to stop both here. All right, man. Thanks for joining on. Thanks for having a uh, good I, time I with us. Welcome. Thanks for having me on, guys. We should do this again. Yeah, dude. Absolutely, sure. man. Thanks for stopping by. See you in Discord. Uh, love that you're enjoying the game. Love that you're betting, man. That's wonderful that you're bringing so much liquidity. Yeah, to we're going to get these pots up. I want, I want a thank you pot. Yes. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. We'll Just shout at people. Tell them, yell at them to bet. Yell I mean, at them. I think I'll drop the... 5K and someone else can do the other five and we'll be good to go. And so All the right. secret to that, too, just before you leave, is like, look, if you want to work with Fib and Mo, like, so Mo streams on Fridays and Saturday nights, so usually Saturday night is the bigger one. Like, I think it really, all it takes is us, you know, picking a time each week that we, like, all, if everybody goes for it, then they typically stack up. And especially if we, you know, we are more than happy, we've got uh, rake fees that are coming over, and we're happy to provide liquidity and basically, you know, juice the purse. And so we just have to pick the time. You know, it's always like we've got a million things going on. We can never keep up and remember, but if we always knew that the Saturday, you know, 6.30 p.m. race or whatever is the one that we all want to make sure we're all in on, Mo's announcing it, he's got it on his stream, and then we can contribute liquidity into the pool, then we should absolutely do that. So I was just trying yeah, to remember. That sounds good. Yeah. I, I, I love I'll, to be part uh, of that, too. So. Yeah, mm-hmm. for sure, man. I'll connect, I'll connect the dots there. We'll talk more about that for sure. Oh, that right. sounds good, guys. Thanks. All right. Thanks See for you, coming. brother. Everybody else. Ooh, ladies and uh, gentlemen. Thanks for having Mo, as always, damn legend. I, Despite Fib's like, absolute disregard for and respect for you, I personally think you are invaluable. <laughs> uh, and I will do anything. You're, you're a damn treasure. Uh, anything it takes to make the sure more, you're The more I love you, happy. the more I ignore you, Mo. That's how it works. Man. It's fine. That's my, it's that's fine. my, le- that's my love language. It. Yes. Ignoring you is my love language. I got it. He's playing hard to get. He's playing hard to get, dude. Listen, yeah. you know, when you come from New York, like, man, right? Neglect is, we don't neglect mess with you. Neglect is how I show affection. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we don't talk to you in New York like we don't like you. You know what I'm saying? If we're busting your chops, like you're in good company. You know, it's usually how you know, you know yeah. you're, you're around good I'm people. I'm from the East Coast, too, man. Yeah, I know. I know we all hate each other. I know how it works. That's right. pretty sure you what, what Fib is describing is the Dennis method from It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Right. Yeah, I'm actually seducing you, man. That's the thing. And you're just in a, we're just in a, we're in a specific phase here. So thanks for calling that out, dude. Thanks, Chris. Yeah. Just your, your analytical mind doesn't need to be applied to my seduction uh, process, please. Thank you. <laughs> well, oh, if you make my girl, I'm definitely in a phase. So, yeah, we don't know what that <laughs> is yet. I think it's a... Midlife crisis is what uh, we're yeah, kind of leaning towards right now, but yeah, that's it. I, I, I do I always, appreciate. You I always guys, trade man. the volatility. I trade the volatility, man. Just know that, buddy. <laughs> yes, when, sir. Uh, Thank you, Fib. Ian, when's have a your good next birthday, race? Man. Thank you, man. When's your next race? Uh, is are you going Friday or are you going Saturday? Just so we can tell the the, the viewers here, our, our our friends, to tune in. So Saturday's been the better day, only because um, it seems like Friday, I guess, with the twenty four hour and like the hangover. You know, people are kind of joining on Thursdays, and then Friday it's like, eh. But then Saturday we normally get more entries. So mm-hmm. again, these might, you know, we're just things we're also trying to monitor moving forward. But you know, it's hard because it's, if we're gonna get on and call races for two, three hours, you know, if you get a forty-five, like fifty-five minute break, it, it can get rough sometimes. And then, again, yeah. I try not to get canceled on the internet, so I, I try to limit the amount of time that I can just kind of freely talk. That's all. <laughs> Give yourself something Our to move. do. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You <laughs> yeah. should just like open Pokemon cards in the in the downtime or something, so you don't get yourself in trouble. <laughs> open Pokemon cards, yeah. Pack rip. Do a, a, a pack rip channel. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Awesome, Mo. Well, yeah. We'll uh, let's. Uh, Mo, uh, Phil will help figure it out. The other alpha, if people haven't seen it in the MVP Society uh, Discord, our our other project, which is um, you know a PFP Vibes Secret Society project. We've uh, just hired four new people to kind of help really shore up our community and marketing and, and vibes. And so uh, Phil will hopefully be around a lot more as well to help just sort of, uh, I think uh, what I told the community this morning, it's like, do my job. Everyone, kinda. everyone has, yeah, somebody's got to do yeah. Phil's job. No, but everyone has sort of seen, and they, I think they believe in third time, the fact that we've, you know, I've got this veteran team. We've built a lot of games before. We've been here before. 
but we really have uh, struggled with the marketing side um, and just kind of keeping ourselves um, at the front of this uh, attention economy that's required for Web3. And so, yeah, we've been hiring and we've been hiring out of the community, trying to get people that are just obviously awesome uh, to help sort of continue to spread the word and the gospel of sorts. Uh, so anyway, that's starting soon. And I'm super, super excited that, um, you know, uh, those all of those folks will start officially on Monday, but they've all signed agreements as of, I believe, today. And uh, yeah, so FIB will uh, uh, help that crew, the crew of one FIB. We'll turn into the crew of five, uh, five fibs. So. Five fibs. Oh, hopefully not. Yeah. Hopefully, hopefully just one fib and five people and four people that can actually do their job. So we'll see how that goes. And then, uh, yeah, I mean, and, and I'll be free. I'll be free. We, I just want to set up a lot more community things for PFL, like going into live, coordinating with Umo, coordinating with content creators, setting up events. Yeah like highlighting, you know, betting liquidity, highlighting races, uh, helping amplify anything that you guys are doing. Cause that's, that's sort of our power is the way that the game's set up is that the game empowers you to create, to create these moments and we can facilitate that with you and make that, you know, bring the community together around them. So that's the plan. Yeah, man. So thanks everybody. As yeah. Thanks. P. Thanks, Chris. Uh, thanks Jay for coming on. You guys are great. That was a lot of fun. Jay, nice calls, man. I, you and I had yeah. similar ideas and if I bet I would have made money too. Good for you, man. I'm <laughs> glad that you, you uh, I'm glad that you uh, are, are here with us making bets, buying horses. See you guys Absolutely. around. P, P gentleman, scholar, Chris champion. <laughs> Love you guys. Have a good one, everyone. Cheers, Pim. So Cheers, everyone. Yeah. All right, guys. Take it easy. Later. See ya. Oh, yeah, Mo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah <laughs> uh, poor Mo, poor Mo. Uh, that's all good. Appreciate you guys.